Hi everyone, this is Andy Nguyen and today we're going to be doing a quick little video as to how to get the wire back into your stabilizer in your custom keyboard, even if it's already been soldered. Stay tuned. Alright, I know if you're a newcomer to the custom keyboard scene that having your wire pop out is going to cause a lot of panic, but I'm here to help. All you really need to fix this is to have a little screwdriver like this, just uh, something with a small head so that you can work around your stabilizer and push the wire back into place. So how does this even happen? Well for me, I had a tight keycap that didn't really want to come off so when I was pulling it with a keycap puller, one side came off first and it was pulling the stem and the stem went up creating a little pivot and it popped the wire out. Even if I use good stabilizers like the Everglides or the Durox, it still pops out. If you have a hot swap board, you don't really have to worry about it because you can just take off the keycaps, take off the switches, take off the plate, and really you can just redo the stabilizer really quickly. You don't even have to take the stabilizer out, you can just kind of move the wire back and push it in because it will all be accessible. If you have a soldered board, however, you really don't want to just take off all your switches because that means desoldering everything and it takes a lot of time a lot of patience and it's just one stabilizer so how do we fix this today we're going to be working with the left shift stabilizer so here it looks like it's working fine but the wire has actually popped out of the housing so i'll show you I'm moving it so this is an easy way to figure out if your wire has popped out if you move one stem it doesn't move the other one with it so that means that the wire being pad like that, it has gone this way too far because it's popped out of a little piece of plastic that's holding into place. So what you want to do is get it back into place. And really, this is just a process of using gravity. It's not all that bad, trust me. But the first thing you want to do is make sure that the wire is all the way out. If one side is out and the other side isn't, it's going to be really hard to kind of move it as a unit. So you want it to be sure that when you lift up the, the stem, nothing is in there. So now, you want to make sure that the wire is all the way out by just tilting it towards you, so the top of the keyboard towards you. Then kind of just hold tightly or use your thighs, but make sure it's all the way out. You want to get clearance so you can put the stem back. So the stem works a little bit like this. So the stem works a little bit like this. You want to pull the wire out so you can move the stem down and kind of use gravity to get the wire back in there. If the wire is currently underneath the stem, you want to lift it up, get the wire out, stem down, wire back in. So look closely, it looks like maybe I can get the wire back in. So to try, I'll just push the stems down, hold, make sure it's held down. Actually, I can feel that the stem doesn't have space. So we're gonna try to tilt it back, get gravity, do our work for us. So what I'm looking to do here is make sure that the stem will go all the way down before the wire is moved in. So it's just gonna be a lot of fiddling and moving around and jerking the keyboard. But we really don't want to desolder this. So I'm moving the stems up. So far, we have not achieved anything. So what I can do is use my screwdriver and just guide the wire out. All right, it looks like I was finally able to get the clearance for the wires to go back in. So we tilt forward. I like to try to kind of force it, make sure it falls in there. We're using gravity and just hoping and praying it gets back into the right spot. Ow! All right. Looks like we were able to get both. Oh crap. Both stems move together. So let's make sure we secure that. So let's make sure we secure that. All right, so after all that violent shaking, I finally was able to get the wires back into the stem in the right spot. And now we do the next step, which is to pop the wire back into place. That's where the screwdriver comes in. So I really want to make sure that I can get that right angle of the wire, which is right here and right here, to be visible in the opening for the stabilizer. So I'll work this way. And 
from here, I'll try to guide using the screwdriver to guide the wire in and toward the top of the keyboard because the wire is opening that way. So all you do is use your screwdriver to push down on the wire. Just make sure you see that little right angle. Got one in. Always a little fiddly to get both in at the same time. There you go. Snapped in and now they're working as they should. I pull one side and the other comes up with it. And it's secured. We can put our caps back on. This is the left shift. And that's it. I was able to use gravity by turning the keyboard away or toward me first to get the wire fully out and then to get the wire back in, making sure that I know the structure of the stem so that I know that it has a slot into the opening. And after that, you use a screwdriver to kind of push and nudge the wire back into the little plastic clip. And when you hear that snap, make sure you get the other side. Sometimes when you do one side, the other side will pop open. It's really a slow process but it is going to be faster than desoldering and resoldering your board. So hopefully you were able to get some value out of that. Hopefully, if you're a beginner, you're able to figure it out how to fix your stabilizer by watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss my future videos on custom mechanical keyboards as well as general tech. Thank you for hanging out with me. See you in the next video.